Lord is just a liar. Just a Robin Moore. Just don't do no lies. Just is gonna bring you numbers. Just for the mess of my music. On the Breakfast Club. I know they know the difference. Keep it a stack. So Mike Epps apologizes to his wife um, on social media. Mike Epps appeared on All the Smoke with Mac Barnes and Steven Jackson. Um, he spoke on finally having a son and why he thinks it took God so long to give him one. Cry all the time and ask God, what happened? What did I do wrong that I can't have a son? But I know what it was. I lied to all these women and got them pregnant <laughs> and, and sold them dreams and shit like that. I've See, been doing too much That's one thing that I'm going to get right before I leave this earth. I'm going to learn how to treat a woman 100% that's right. Dope. That's dope. That's something that I want to do for my mother, for my children, for my daughters. I never treated a woman right. A hundred percent. And now that I'm getting older, I'm realizing, man, you got to treat a woman right, Mike. So apparently there was some beef in his household because after the episode came out, he shared his regret for what he said in an Instagram post. And he captioned his first post this. I want to apologize to my wife for what I said on that dumbass podcast. S. This S is a trick bag. I'm always misunderstood on what I say on the Internet. Shaking my head. Never again will I interview with anyone. Never. I am off this S. For, for good, F off, right? Well, salute to Mike Epps. It was still a great conversation. I, I don't really see yeah. what the problem is, but I'm also not his wife, and I don't That's know right. what they, you know, because I think maybe it could have been, you didn't shed any light on how you treat me. You you still don't, what, is it is it anything that, you know, because she may feel like he treats me right. I don't know why he went up there and act like he was still, yeah, but, like he was still well, single or something. Well, he didn't say, he said 100%, right? 100%. And as a, as a man, as a father, as a husband, mm -hmm. we don't, do the right thing 100% mm -hmm. of the time. Like, you know, we sometimes we might have an attitude. Sometimes yeah. we might do something that, you know, might upset my wife or might upset my daughters mm -hmm. or might upset my mother. But I got what he was trying to say. He just saying he wants to right. make sure that I, I please the women in my life 100% and don't F up ever. He didn't mm -hmm. say anything about cheating. He didn't say anything mm -hmm. about being mm -hmm. abusive. But, mm -hmm. you know, you you argue with your I, wife. I, I, I argue with my wife. You know what I mean? No, I don't argue too. with my wife. We're yeah. not 100% all the yeah. time. Yeah. Well, you have a disagreement, I should say. Yeah, I think, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Mike was trying to say. I, I mean, it didn't sound bad to me, but I'm not his <laughs> wife. You know what I mean? So, I mean, maybe the only thing I could think of is he should have been just specific and said my yeah. wife instead mm -hmm. of saying women. Yeah, but you know? he also said his daughters, his, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he just could have met women of all, you know, in all roles of his life, you know? And I also want to say as a girl dad of four, uh, I look at it the other way. I look at it, God gave me all these blessings. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? God don't mm -hmm. give you what you want. He gives you what you need. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I needed that uh, mm -hmm. uh, clearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He also uh, posted another picture of his wife, uh, beautiful. Um, she, he said, again, I want to apologize to my beautiful wife for ignorant and reckless. I honor you. And Damn, my you did two apologies? Yeah, he did too. Um, oh, yeah, I they, don't know they, how bad the argument was. Oh, yeah, was going down now. Damn, Mike. And my family, please forgive me. <laughs> Damn, my yeah. And my family, please forgive me. Pray for Mike Epps. Salute to the All the Smoke podcast. Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson. That was a great yeah. conversation y'all had with that Mike Epps. That was not a dumbass episode. I thought it was actually great. And you See, can listen to the All the Smoke podcast on the Black Effect <laughs> iHeartRadio podcast what? network. It wasn't a dumbass podcast until he got home. <laughs> he was like, yeah, God, right, why right. do that damn podcast? Right. Everything was fine in his house. Because he's been wanting to be invited on podcasts and everything before. Now I ain't never doing another dumbass podcast. And we're going to hear about it on the tour. Because he, he got a tour going on as well. Because the reality is none of it is worth the disagreement with your wife. None no. of it is yeah, worth no, the problems no, that it caused not. at home. None is worth yeah. all the smoke and in the crib. You can tell uh, Mike Epps getting old. He did the whole episode with his coat on. And he had on a, he had on one of them coats that you that the niggas be walking up and down New York with. <laughs> I said, it's not warm in there. <laughs> anyway, Kasanet and Drewski accused of colorism. So <laughs> Drewski was on a recent live stream with Kasanet now. Uh, Kasanet had got a woman for, for Drewski. And he had blindfolded him. And when he took the blindfold off... Um, this were these were his comments about the woman standing before him. Juski, would you like to see? Yeah, I'm, a I'm ready. Go ahead, take your blindfold off. Why are you quiet? Nah, I'm just uh, in shock. <laughs> what you in shock about? Damn. What's the problem? Nah, 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 I'm good. I, I'm just. I'm the features kind of. <laughs> what do you mean the features, Brody? Yeah. Nah, she you, like I, when I felt the hands on. What are you talking about? Like, what's going on? Why they, why they said jawline? No 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 how they so, get colorism out of that? I, I, that's I what I'm confused. saying. Drewski never even spoke on her uh, her skin color, but the fans are accusing him of being colorist for his comments. Some are even what? saying that <laughs> some are even saying that even though he didn't speak about her color, his comments 
feed into the belief that black women are not as feminine as women of other races had nothing to do. That's why I be calling people bitter black bitches. I do not understand that. Because it, it was all the black women saying it. I don't understand how we even got that you narrative out of that. Line. Yeah, it, yeah, it sounded like he was misgendering her, if anything. He was saying yeah. she was handsome. Uh, that's what we, I got from we, it. All right, well, look, you can keep that where that's at. But, <laughs> you know, ain't nothing wrong. I done seen a lot of women with strong jaw lines. I, I have a lot. I'm a woman with a deep voice. It's all types of masculine features that women possess. Okay, fine. That don't make you a man. That don't make you whatever. But either way, there was another girl on the same episode that was about the same skin tone as this, as the strong jaw line, you know, the strong jaw line girl. Mm -hmm. And she was <laughs> voluptuous. Jawline. She had a healthy bottom and they was lusting over her. Play number four. <clears throat> I'm giving you your money. Wait, no, no, no. Stop, stop. Hey, put the mic. Put it by the mic. Stand right there. Yeah, right there. No, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. That's her yeah! clapping in the mic. You're getting your money. <laughs> That's You're right. You're getting your money. Yes. That's what she is? Yes. Oh, hey, be strong. <laughs> That's a she. I need it. Hold on, he said, he said that's a she? No, you said that's a she. What'd he say? Because you was trying to say, no, he said, you're getting your money. Yeah, you're but no, when somebody, money. Drewski was, that was Kai, but Drewski said something else in the background. No, he told him, he told him to be strong, be strong. Oh. Yeah. I, look, stop trying to get somebody in trouble. Everybody, not, I, for, they I were, By they, the way, I haven't seen the video. Yeah, like, yeah. Let's, let, I'm just listening and to the audio. And you're not allowed to watch it. was going to be a beef in your house later, too. <laughs> so I'm just saying. But, but I know I ain't hear no colorism. But yeah, but no colorism. But there From are, those clips, right. They are all women. All women women. I'm talking about biological women, and they're mm -hmm. on this video. So yeah, that's that. I saw the video, and she was, she was, they, they, she was looking good. The last one who had the, the clapping. Now the first one, she was all right. You know? They really got colorism out of that clip? Yep. But that's that what happens when you're on the internet. They reach. They reach. They do nothing but reach. And that's why I, bitches be clowns. That's just what it is. And that's the just for the mess for the first hour. Thank you, Jess. International mm. Women's Day. That's the right. message. Yep. And yes, bitches be bitches clowns. Be clowns. <laughs> All right, Jess. A lot of them Let's need to go. Hear that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. I'm stay out y'all business. If you, say you. It, if you say it, Jess, I'm going to ride with you. You're going to repeat it. That's it. <laughs> but I'm mind my business. That's it. When we come back, we got front page news. And then, of course, it's International Women's Day. So if you want to holler at Jess, Jess Fix My Mess, 800 585 1051. What song are you playing? It better be a woman's song. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.